what's up everybody the germ you know uh, a few years ago i did a video here in this plaza and this was a at one time a really cool plaza uh, i had a lot of good stores in it and uh they're demolishing it. it's crazy to see this um i noticed i went to look through the windows of kmart and it's empty <laughs> look at this It is super cold out today. Not only is it cold, there's like a really bad wind chill. I got to go in this blockbuster recently. There were some contractors here. Uh, they let me actually go inside. There's really nothing in there at this point. But uh, yeah, you can't really even tell it. Just the enter signs there. That's basically it. But it was funny because they were telling me they found a shank up on the roof. <laughs> we're not going to be able to go in front of the Kmart because that's all blocked off. Uh, this was a liquor store This was actually a really good buffet called buffet 2000 as you guys can see it's all gone now. I Don't remember what was in here Then we have the rent a -Sary. this was like the last store to leave the plaza This was here up until probably a couple months ago Other than that this whole entire plaza has been empty, which is very unusual for this area then we have the Pay Less Shoes, which closed just a few years ago. That's it. That's it. Oh, there's a, a vehicle here. I don't know if he's doing construction, but or he's just doing what I'm doing. So I was shocked when I came around this corner here and I saw... I looked in the window. I was like, holy crap, there's nothing back there. I never thought they would leave the front facade there, but that's uh, very interesting. And you can see we can't go back here. So that kind of stinks. We can't go in front. Of it. It's really cold out as well. We can, I think we can, I think we're allowed to go on the side of it. Look at all the service bays still there. Did anyone ever service their car at Kmart? I would think that would be super weird to service your car at Kmart. I don't know if I would trust them to do that. I, I wouldn't service my car at Kmart. Oh, I remember going in here. This store had such uneven floors. It was built on a dump. There used to be a dump here at some point. Look at that. You can't even tell. You can't even tell on the side that the store's gone why are they not ripping down the sidewalls i don't know that's so strange like all the doors are there but then you go around the side the back of the building if we get oh we kind of get close to the back but we can't get all the way back there and we're gonna do a wide turn over here and yeah so this was built on a dump look at that doesn't look like they touched shop right though that's interesting that whole middle of the store the whole store is gone so weird I wonder why they're not taking the sidewalls down are they reusing it for something I would think this would be a perfect spot for a Walmart and we could use one in Poughkeepsie so that would be cool a um, little bit of a higher crime area right here it's not the best area but you know um, at the same time people in this area there's a, there is some homeless people in this area and they could use a place I think to buy some essential care things, socks, underwear, things like that, water. And uh, this would be really handy to have something like that. It's a big enough plaza, man. Maybe they can um, change this area and make that happen. But I heard that a long time ago they were going to do this, make it a Kmart or a Walmart. But I think that was just more of a rumor. So I don't know. We'll see. That would be interesting. That would be cool to see if they did something like that. But maybe uh maybe they're getting ready for redevelopment and maybe they can make the land right from what it was because this this land is awful you know it's just i remember going in the kmart and your shopping cart would just literally roll away from you it's crazy figure out baby ask you i saw you over here before yes i, I do a lot of, i used to shop here and stuff so i thought it was kind of I passed by the front. I was like, "Holy crap!" The front's there. There's no back. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, we took all the inside out. Wow. And we're gonna soon enough. We're gonna take it all down. The whole entire plaza. Mm -hmm. What's the plan? No plan for re. I don't have any. No plan for redevelopment. I don't know what the uh, the owner's gonna do. Wow. I was shocked that I, I drove by. I was like, I saw the uh, the cement barriers, and I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. And then. I looked through the store window and I'm like, whoa, I said, where's the store? That's crazy. Yeah, probably taxes, right? So if you have empty land, I guess it would be cheaper. You know, but it, it's, it's about time they took it down. Yeah. Are you a local guy or? No, no. 
but I've been around for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I've been in from? Maryland. Oh, I was, okay. I was here last year and did the asbestos abatement, and now I'm doing the. Nice. I talked to some of your guys last time, Dob, because they were in the Blockbuster. They were doing some. They were in the camera and the Blockbuster doing something, and I was talking to them, and they're really, really super nice guys. Uh -huh. You know, but it's just it's crazy to see. It. I mean, it's got to happen. Yeah, it doesn't. It's about time. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you. Nice talking to you. Take care. Thank you. All right. So I don't know how much of that, guys, you could hear. I was trying to record, but not let him know it's recording. Really super nice guy. Um, this plaza is called Duchess Center. It's got a really old sign. I got to show it to you guys. Um, he said they're planning on ripping the whole thing down eventually, but unfortunately, they're going to rip the whole thing down, but there is no plans to build anything. Why? Build something. You know what though, maybe it will make the land more desirable. You know, it is a big plot of land. Actually, the only thing left in this plaza, and I don't know if you can consider it, I, yeah, it's part of the plaza, right? So there's the Kmart, the shop right, the Eckerd that turned into a uh, Rite Aid or a Walgreens now. Now I'm questioning myself. There is a Burger King out here. There is a Burger King. And you know what I thought about doing? I wanted to get a projector and sit in this parking lot with a projector and play Mario Brothers at nighttime. I thought that would be really fun. <laughs> Look at that. That thing is perfect. That white, that'd be like a white screen. I gotta do that soon if I'm ever gonna do that because there's nothing left. I don't even know. I don't think I'd get in that parking lot. So I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Well, we got way too close, but look at this old Duchess Center sign. Yeah, it's coming down. I wonder what they're gonna do with this big giant sign. It's a really, really cool sign. Hopefully someone saves it and does something with it. Well, guys, until next time, I am the Cherm. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below. Did you guys, do you guys have any memories at Blockbuster Video, Kmart, Eckerd? I actually worked at Eckerd at one point, um, and it was cool. We actually got a discount at JCPenney, which was really weird. I don't know why. Um, you guys have any memories from those places? Let me know in the comments below. That plaza is going bye-bye. Hopefully we see something awesome in the future. Hey, you never know. You know, um, I mean, we're at the start of recession now, so it's probably not a good time to build something, but, you know, maybe a year or two now from now we hear something, you know, or we hear some development pant lines, and, you know, maybe five years from now we have something there. You never know. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.